Time is 6.20. A local athlete has done just about everything you could possibly achieve in a sport. Well, now he prepares to represent his country at the Paralympic Games for the fourth and final time of his career. Three News Hour reporter Zach Williamson shares his story in today's Positively the Heartland. For most of the last year, Josh Turek has been tearing up the nets at the YMCA in Council Bluffs. And I've only seen him miss once until the day. Preparing for something much more than a pickup game at the gym. I mean, this is a full professional sport with full on athletes that have dedicated their entire life to this. It's unbelievably physical and quick and athletic. Turek first got into wheelchair basketball when he was just 12 years old. And it didn't take long before he started turning heads. I ended up going to Southwest Minnesota State University. I ended up scoring 4,000 points in my college career, like 63 points in a game. Turek then went on to play professionally. Which, I actually, I wasn't even totally aware that professional wheelchair basketball existed over in Italy. Took the opportunity, played a few years in Milan, uh, played in Spain, played in France. But none of that was the reason he started playing. It was always to wear USA across my chest and to try to win a gold medal for the USA. That, that was day dot, that was, that was what I was looking to do. Turek accomplished that goal, making the Paralympic team in 2004. But it wasn't all smooth sailing for the sharpshooter. We're only taking 12 guys for the entire country. And so for six straight years, I tried out and I was cut year after year after year. And I just thought, I'm going to keep coming back. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep working and I'm going to get so good eventually that they can't cut me. And he's been a staple on the team ever since, helping the team win a bronze medal in the 2012 Paralympic Games, leading the team in points and rebounds. In 2016, the team was even better, winning the gold medal game over Spain by 18, the closest game they had in the run to the gold medal, and the first gold for the U.S. since 1988. The Paralympics and the Olympics supersede sports because it's bigger than, than just the sporting event itself. It's, it's for your country, it's for to represent your city and your family. And so without question, that was the, that was the greatest accomplishment of my life. A feeling, he says, that goes unmatched. You're almost at a lag for words for it because it's almost emotionally overwhelming for you. I mean, you don't know whether to laugh or cry or, or what to do. You're, you're just filled with a feeling of happiness and complete satisfaction for, for what you have dedicated your life to. Turek was set to hang it up before being talked back into one final mission, a trip to Tokyo for his fourth and final Paralympic Games. Oh, I was still playing over in Europe. I was still playing in Spain, which is probably the best league in the world. I was still top scorer of the league. I was all-star five, which is, I mean, like I was playing really, really well. So they asked me to come back and try to do this one more time to repeat. The 42-year-old is the oldest on the team and was ready for the next chapter of his life. The pandemic has made the preparation for this final ride much tougher. And this has been a five-year journey, not a four-year journey. COVID, I wasn't over in Europe, I wasn't able to play with any, I've, I've been training on my own for the last 15 months. It's really, really been mentally grueling and physically grueling, especially because Father Time's undefeated. Like, you know, ultimately this doesn't get easier as you get older. Working out in the city gym isn't a professional athlete's ideal way of training, but the city's been happy to have him. He does make it look easy and if, if you've got the will, you've got the way. And I think he has always followed that. So I'm very, very proud to know him. And he's proud to represent him. Many times Counts of Lust can feel like kind of like the, you know, the, the, the small redheaded stepchild to Omaha. And so for me, I really want to say, no, 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 I'm from Counts of Lust, Iowa. Like, this is my city. These are my people. And, and I want to represent them well. And I want to ultimately for them to be proud of me and to be proud of the community. And yeah, that, that means a, a great deal to me. For Positively the Heartland, I'm Zach Williamson. We're all proud of him already. Certainly wish him the best of luck. The Paralympic Games get started August 24th. Turek says the USA is in the pool of death with the top four teams all competing.